Ugh. Okay, real talk, folks. This morning got really exhausting really quickly. Not that anything was, like, physically taxing or whatever. Huh. It looks like I'm kind of wearing a mask right here. Anyway, um, see, obviously I know that today is Mother's Day, which joining moms, grandmas, aunts, maybe sisters who have any mothers as well, whatever, happy Mother's Day. Hope you're all doing well. And this is just for, like, people who are friends with me on Facebook. Because here's the thing. I didn't even really, I never, I always seem to forget this. I'm friends with a lot of moms. Like, a lot of moms. Like, technically, I kind of figured this might happen one day just because technically they weren't moms when I first friended them some even, like, years and years ago. And, like, others I just friended, like, recently. So, this whole morning... I've, like, been trying my darndest to make sure I wish every single mom friend on Facebook that I have a happy Mother's Day. You know, I hope you're all having, again, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, you know, a wonderful day, whatever. I'm going to be seeing my mom later today. So, yeah, this should be a good day overall. But the weirdest thing was happening. Like, at first I was sending messages to people, you know, obviously, again, wishing Happy Mother's Day. And at first, everything was going fine. But then eventually, I would click post after I wrote out the message that I had written. And it does the little loading posting sort of thing that you see. And it said it posted, but then I look on the person's wall and it's not there. It's just, like, really weird. So... If you clearly are a mom and you clearly know me and it's very obvious that I would be wishing you a happy Mother's Day or maybe your mother who's about to be, which now reminds me there's actually a friend I haven't wished happy Mother's Day yet, even though technically she's only expecting she's going to be mother very soon. But my point is, again, I am friends with a lot of moms and I have been trying to wish them all a happy Mother's Day. And I'm like trying to, oh right, I wish her happy Mother's Day. Oh right, I wish her happy Mother's Day. Oh, I wish her happy Mother's Day. Like, just like dot, 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 dot. I must have wished like, more than, in the last like 20 minutes, I probably wished a happy Mother's Day to like, 30 or 40 moms. Or if they weren't mothers, who didn't, or if they were mothers like, who didn't have accounts. I'm friends with obviously like, some of their sons or daughters who, Obviously, do have Facebook accounts, so like, do you think you, if it's not too much trouble because you wish your mother a happy Mother's Day for me? You know, stuff like that. And, like, again, I would write out the post for most of these, and it, like, it said it posted, but it didn't, like, it didn't appear on the wall. I'm really concerned about that because I actually put a lot of work into this. Oh, boy. So, if you are a mom and you are my friend on Facebook and... You clearly are, you're most likely expecting a sort of, you know, Happy Mother's Day wish from me. You know, please know that I really did try. If I didn't, then again, I'm friends with a lot of moms. I may have just accidentally forgotten you. I swear I'm sorry if that is the case because, you know, you are a mother and you deserve, you know, good treatment. I mean, that, that's always the thing. I think I said this yesterday, too. Like, if International Women's Day wasn't already a thing, like, I would consider, like, Mother's Day International Women's Day. So, at least that's my two cents on the matter. I mean, again, I mean, normally, I mean, I'll be honest, this Mother's Day is actually probably the most depressing Mother's Day I've had since, like, 2009, which I'll be getting into momentarily because it is a story that's worth talking about. Um, just, not that anything, like, bad times, you know, with social distancing and everything, you know, normally my family gets together, we go out for Mother's Day brunch, or maybe we get together for something, but... With everything going on, I'm afraid that's, that's not really the case. 
As, again, but as bad as it says, it's not as bad as Mother's Day 2009. What happened Mother's Day 2009? Well, for those who, well, for those of you who may not know, 2009 was the year I graduated from Trinity Poly. Now, I was 19 at the time. Every single Mother's Day, up until then, to some capacity, whether it was only, whether it was the entire day, or even just like if my mother had to work that weekend and so I would only see her like at night. I was always with my mom and actually by extension my family as well. But because I was a Trinity Pauling, you know, I never saw my mom at all. It really hit me. I mean, I'm going to see my mom later today, so I guess, uh, hold on a second. I wanted to knock on wood in case, uh, something went wrong. Um, right, where was I? Yeah, I was talking about, um, how that was like the first Mother's Day that, you know, I didn't spend with my mom or my family for that matter. And it hit me. It really did. It was actually so, um, and here's what really got to me. And technically this is a minor thing, but up at Tuco Lake, there is a place called the Top of the Lake. I have talked about this before. It's one of the 13 best places to get a bite to eat up at Tuco Lake. You know, it's called Top of the Lake. It's right in, right in Penyan. It used to be called, it used to be a place called Saracens. That Mother's Day, my family went to brunch there. And they've only gone once, and that was the only time. It closed down, and now we have Top of the Lake. Basically, it was the one Mother's Day brunch that got away. But again, that's technically like a minor thing in the grand scheme of things. The important thing is, you know, I was with my family. And that particular Mother's Day, you know, I couldn't be. It was tough. It made me so emotionally distraught that later that week I uh, got in trouble. Any of my fellow brothers at Trinity Pauling would remember this moment. It was the shoe throwing incident. Needless to say, outside of what provoked that situation, I was under a lot of stress going into that. So to any of my brothers who may remember that day, you know, I mean, technically it's a funny story that I can laugh at now. I mean, I got to trouble in like detention for a couple of weeks. No, not detention per se, just like I had to do like the Sunday study hall for like, I think it was like six hours or something. I don't know. Well, it was a long day and I got work done. So that was nice. And you know, it's not like it wasn't as, I mean, technically it wasn't as bad as I'm making it out to be now. Just because, I mean, I, I mean, Graduation was only several weeks away. Like, m like, the Sunday before Memorial Day, that was when I graduated from Trinity Poly. So it was, um, so I was basically at the home stretch. I just wish I didn't get in trouble at that point. So, I guess that's sort of a nagging, you know, memory I have, but actually come to think of it, this is the first time I've ever actually, um, really talked about this in elaborate detail, so I hope you're all sort of enjoying the story, you know, and I did learn a lot from that situation, I really did, you know, um, for, for one thing, I learned that, you know, to not mess up right when you're at the finish line, you know, it gave me a lot of perspective as, because if, as I have told the story before, one of the reasons why I went to Trinity Pauling was because I kind of wanted to be a better person for a girl I really liked. And because I had gotten in trouble, I then realized that I'm not ready to be with this girl yet. I mean, if I'm stupid enough to get myself in trouble, then basically I'm not good enough for her. That was the mentality that I had. And, you know, I've come to terms with that. You know, I'm good. I mean, I haven't even seen this girl in years. I mean... To be honest, the only thing I know about her is that she's still alive. That's really, like, all I know about her. I mean, I'm not friends with her on Facebook. 
To be honest, I don't even know if she remembers me. But yeah, that um, that that happened. You know, I uh, you know, I come to terms. I moved on. You know, I'm I'm doing pretty well outside of that. Hmm. You know, it actually feels kind of good to talk about this story. It really does, because you know. It really gave me, it really gives me some more perspective on the fact that I really do care about my family. And, you know, it really is sad that, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, you know, I can't really see him. And it's, um, it's tough. Although tough isn't the same thing as annoying as the fact the sun is literally glaring in my eye right now. Uh, forget dark side of the Nick. This is like, I don't know, Half Moon Nick. <laughs> Shout out to any uh, Half Moon Cookie fans out there. Um, actually, Half Moon Cookies are pretty good. I like those. Um, yeah. So, if, again, if you're a mother who's a friend with me on Facebook, and you may or may not have gotten a message from me on Facebook, you know, I apologize. Because either I accidentally forgot or I did send it, but for whatever reason, Facebook wouldn't like have to be posted on your wall for me to know it's actually there. And if you are a friend of mine who has a mother that I would clearly know who does not have a Facebook account, you know, I hope they have a happy Mother's Day as well. You know, if you're a uh, mother or grandmother or an aunt, or a sister who's also a mother, or a mother-to-be, or maybe you have some sort of authority figure in your life who you look to as a mother, you know, or, you know, if the Rugrats and Mother's Day special is honestly anything, you know, your dad can also be your mom. So, basically, to any and all moms out there, you know, my heart feel, I mean, I love you all, you're doing, you're doing good. I am really botching this right now, because I'm getting kind of emotional. Um, you know, I hope you all have a happy Mother's Day. You know, you deserve all the love and praise and attention that, you know, you get. And, you know, admittedly, some things kids do take for granted from their mothers. It happens. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. But, you know, it gives you perspective on the fact that, you know, I am thankful that, you know, my mom, well, Let's be honest, some things my mom did for me, I'm never really going to forgive her for. Even some recent things. But, if nothing else, I'm... Well, I'm, I'm thankful that she's basically one half of the reason why I exist. That definitely... I mean, again, without my mom, you don't see these videos. So think about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I ran we are right now because for whatever reason I'm getting emotional when I really shouldn't be. Um uh, sorry. Um Yeah. Again, um there's a few other people I know I have to wish you a happy Mother's Day to. One I know for a fact is a mother who was expecting in actually like the next like month and a half or something. Um, yeah, don't really, uh, don't have, you know, much else, you know, to say. I mean, you can't really, we can't really do, no one can really do much with everything going on, so, if you're, if you had any plans, like, going to, like, brunch or anything, they're kind of, the plans are kind of shot. In terms of what I'm doing today, my mother and my father have to run up to uh, my late grandfather's cottage at the Cucolite to take care of a few things. So I'm going to be seeing them a little bit later. But, you know, I have my card ready. You know, I'm going to go to the store right now and get my mother some fresh roses. You know, I know I... But, you know, I'm not going to see my mother until later this afternoon. So, you know, I can afford to wait a little while before the roses are... I mean, the, Again, I want to make sure the roses are fresh, because, you know, I, I don't have any access to, like, a vase, or a vase, whatever you want to call it. So I can't, like, put in water, put the roses in water. So, yeah, I you know, get, uh, you know, roses. I have a card already, and I'm going to make her uh, something that is a mom food. 
It's something I have showed on camera before that uh, I am going to talk about later today. Or not later today, but later down, down the line. Why well, I say later today? So, one final time to any and all mothers out there, be you mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, maybe a dad who's also like your mom, I don't know. Or maybe you have a relationship with two same gender parents, I don't know, who, who much more your mom, I don't know. I love you all. You know, this, all this video is dedicated to all the moms out there. You know, um, happy Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, I'm very humbled that I was able to wish you all a happy Mother's Day today. I'm hopeful we all have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. And to those who may not have moms, you know, you know, I feel for you. You know, there are a few people I know who sadly don't have their moms anymore. It's tough. And, but, you know, if you ever want to talk about stuff like that, you know, I'm always here to learn here. I'll always have you back. You know, take care and make good choices for your mom today. Or not of your mom. Bye.